<laughs> I like fixing my shirt. Hi. I'm about to um, share this video out. If you're just logging on, you're going to have to share it for me. I'm banned. I've been banned for going on, um, I don't know, a few months now. So I'm having problems sharing my content. So give me a second. Anytime I try to post my live feeds after they're filmed on my personal page so that people can see them because my page is dead, um, literally I've been noticing that they're getting deleted like in a crazy kind of way. Like I'll post it from the other account and like right away they're getting deleted. Yesterday I was trying to share it on my page and it just kept closing out every time I would. Like every time I've been blocked on this other account worse than my own. I can't share anything in any groups at all. I can only post in my own. So I've been quarantined to a certain area, which is really kind of a synchronicity. That's going to be our topic today. So go ahead and share this out. Try to share it to networks, not my own. Because I can't share it. I am having problems with my content being censored. I'll kind of go there too because I'm gathering a lot of um, new star seeds, light workers, healers, whatever it is. <clears throat> so I was talking about a lot of what I will consider false light teachings, just everything in the spiritual community, everything that you guys have taken into your consciousness to be real, I now view as a false reality. And I began to push past those layers of magic that are affecting all of us through my energy work and the encoding that I do. And I keep on telling you guys, it was like open Pandora's box for me. And I was given anything that I needed or was seeking about myself. I think that sometimes we don't know the right questions to ask, I learned on this journey. I've learned so much in the past four months, it's mind blowing. Like it's just so crazy how fast I'm leveling up energetically once I decided to walk away and set aside what I wanted for the good of all once again. It was just so crazy um, how rapidly things came back to me, the Akashic access, like I already had Akashic access, but the, the further Akashic access that I was granted um, was pretty crazy, pretty mind blowing. I'm still having a really hard time integrating all of this knowledge that I've gained so fast. It's kind of mind blowing to go through. And I'm having a hard time integrating it so that I can put it into words and teach it to you. So I have um, a deep understanding of this stuff. Um, I've been saying, like, I don't know. First off, I'll go there for Ashley. She said that she did um, some healing work on herself and wasn't feeling good. I said that it was probably more the storm. We are in day three of a space storm. The storm will last until next Thursday. It will pick up intensity each day. Um, some people aren't feeling it. Well, I sure as hell am, and I'm using this energy just like I do every space storm. So even if you're not feeling it, it's a very powerful galactic energy on top of some other um, geomagnetic storms. So we should be using these energies to heal um, and to manifest, basically. These are powerful energies. I'm telling you guys, you guys should be making lists of what you want with these storms. I know you think you're being clear with your manifestations, but we're having so many thoughts a day that we're really not being clear enough. So one thing I've been learning um, on my own personal journey is to make lists. That's where I'm at with this energy. We have new quarantines going into place. And this is really up my alley because my seeking a few months ago began... And I'm doing this amazing healing work. A lot of you guys are connecting with me through my job. It's pretty amazing. Um, it's very humbling. It's inspiring. It's just amazing. But I began to understand we could be doing more than we're doing, than the healing work that we're doing. Like I just thought that we could be using our abilities and our energetic knowing on larger scales to implement more of a larger scale, maybe getting to the source of these issues instead of going around and trying to heal everyone. So it really kind of pushed me on my seeking. I really understand the body, probably like no one else. I also understand the natures of this reality. I put up an article touching base a little bit deeper on this subject on this page. Make sure you guys like the page if you haven't. And um, I put up an article explaining how this is a holographic reality. Although if you go subscribe to those theories, they're all wrong. I assure you. Um, but it is holographic in nature. 
and it's almost like a computer, I like to think of it as a computer program that we're living in, but it's really like kind of similar and we can look at it in a basic way, like there was a virus that was unleashed on humanity that was brought here from other planets and these are spiritual issues. They are in the unseen and they have taken over and enslaved humanity and they have actually changed our entire reality into this false reality that we see and we know to be real. And this is not the real natures of reality that we're living in. So I began to understand the body as above, so below, the matrix, and maybe we could be doing um, bigger things like with our hacking abilities with humans to hack the matrix in a basic kind of way. Um, I know that there are some people that hold keys to this and these are things that I'm kind of being trained in at the moment. And so it's really crazy when I get told last night that there are new quarantines that are going to be put into place. And I really probably spelled it out better in this article. Um, these quarantines, you can look at them like firewalls or antiviruses. And um, I'm really adept in these quarantines because I'm always getting put in galactic quarantine when I refuse to comply. Like I got, I told you, I've been put in actual galactic quarantine. So I have a lot of experience on this topic. But um, there are new quarantines that are about to go into place. This is not good for humanity um, because we've been quarantined to this entire planet since we were born. And I'm sure they would just like to kill us all off, but they can't because of the things that we hold that could stop these things. It's the only reason we're still existing. So let's talk about how you've been hacked personally. Not only has the holographic reality been hacked on major levels so your entire reality is a false reality that you're taking into your consciousness and making real you've been hacked um, on a DNA level your DNA is a blueprint but it also is a projector to your reality people are wondering if this is a holographic projection where is it coming from well actually your DNA is like sophisticated software that is read in your brain and it actually projects into your reality so the biggest hack job we see would be your DNA being hacked through vaccines food someone wanted me to mention sugar things like that I think we all know the basics that humanity is being influenced the thing is these things are allowed to occur people are like oh my god how is this happening to humanity? This is a realm of free will. Free will is taken very, very seriously here. The problem is living in this false reality, we know nothing about free will and how to use it. And that lies the problem because there are things that we could be doing on energetic levels to protect ourselves from these things now that we're awake and we're conscious and we're aware of what's going on. There's more that we could be doing rather than just ditching the GMO food. There are things that we can be doing our, on our own of on energetic levels in kind of deep ways. But the problem is that we're just learning how to use our free will. That's something I'm just learning how to use. And I'm pretty adept with energy and the things around us. And I'm just learning how now on my own, because you know no one's teaching me, right? I'm learning on my own how we can take back our free will and use it to be the game changer. I'm also learning how we can use the contracts that we made before we came here to be the game changer. Um, but there are huge things are happening for humanity. Everyone's wondering, like, like, my boyfriend's like, can you just chill out a little? Like, I think you're just a little too serious like yes I'm very serious because people are not understanding the seriousness of this situation and how things are not going as planned just because of the amount of star seeds who are not on their missions and are not fulfilling their contracts it's really kind of a big deal because even though we're trying the ones that are awake daily the grid workers we are seeking to alchemize this stuff it's not going to happen without everyone fulfilling their contracts and their roles so that's been like my main topic the past two weeks it's, it's not going to be any different for the next week either um, I'm going to still put out these same galactic callings to all of you and I'm going to try to stir something in you I know that you think that you're awake I was trying to explain this morning that I hold something that could be the game changer for all of us but I'm not awake yet and I do not understand how to use it I'm still trying to get there I was having on um, conversations with my computer tech people you'll notice I'm drawing a lot of the hackers to me too the actual computer hackers a lot of you guys might identify as being anonymous or being hackers or you know being here to assist online and there's no coincidence in the groups of people that I am drawing to me. I'm drawing the healers, the starseeds, the light workers, and the real hackers to me. And there's no coincidence at all with what we're about to have to do with this matrix or this holographic reality. And I know that everyone has convinced you you had a spiritual awakening and you're awake. That will keep you in that false reality. Trust me. 
we didn't wake up. There was no creator that put you to sleep to torture you so that you would wake up. We've been having black magic used on us in deep, deep levels. So you might pierce through one veil of that magic, hence your first awakening, right? But there are many, many veils of magic being used in these realms. It's encoded in almost everything that is around you on deep levels. And that is what is keeping us from our true selves. Now these quarantines that you can look at like an antivirus area where we're being quarantined off so that we cannot infect ever other areas of the galaxies um, to this area, you can look at that as awful too because it's damaging our DNA. Every time they're quarantining us, it is going to affect us on personal levels. It is going to make us unreadable to the entire system. And there lies the problem with why people can't remember who they are, what is going on with people with the amnesia, things like that. I was touching base on this. I'm going to do it again today because I had a long feed yesterday. Your memories have been taken. You've been hacked and hijacked and everything that you love or hate is known about you. You did not manifest these hell on earth realities. You were hacked and they were induced into you because they knew your fears. They knew your weaknesses. You were not exploited through love because of your vibration. You were exploited if that was your weakness through your relationships. And it's no coincidence that we're the healers. So you made many contracts here this life for all different types of relationships, all of them healing in nature. And some of the people that you tried to love, you were not meant to. You were actually meant to come here and heal them. And people are getting confused as to these relationships. But the other, your opponents are not confused. They don't have that amnesia we have. They know exactly what's going on. That is the problem. They are much more organized. And since they hacked you, they have all of your information and you have none of it. And it's very hard to navigate. So a lot of you guys have had like narcissist relationships, bad experiences in love, whatever it is. Just know those were contracts that you took on to heal, but you were exploited through them, through your want and desire for love. So there's a lot of things going on here. I don't know. You guys are getting astral attacks. Who's waking up with bruises on them? Who's seeing bruises? That's a really good sign just to let you know. You're being fed on in the astral. They wanted us awake and trapped in this fourth dimensional reality. They wanted us out of 3D and awake because then it's different. You're going to be able to have different astral experiences. And guess what? There's no free will in the astral. They can do what they want with us, really. You think they're not doing what they want with us anyway here? It's a whole different playing field when we're asleep and we're on those astral planes. So it's a big topic. People are finally realizing maybe they're waking up drained or with bruises on them. You guys should, if you are awake, at some point become infinite sources of energy. You're also going to be connected to that consciousness grid. When you're asleep, you're not. You're not a co-creator in the same sense. So if we are awake, we have much more power being connected to that grid. So through influencing us, they can influence the entire consciousness grid just by influencing one of these main fractals. It's kind of like the same theories that I'm doing. I'm going to use this feed and I'm going to hack my vibration and I'm going to uplift all of you through this channeling. And it's like a matrix hack. Well, they're doing the same thing before the dark. They're trying to seek to hack the main fractals or the star seeds connected to that grid so that they can access the entire consciousness grid through your energy. So there's a lot going on with humanity. <clears throat> and I think we all know it can't go on like this. So yes, the key is to activate, repair your DNA. That is one of the keys. I did that though. I did that with myself. It took me three years because I had very bad genetic damage from all of the pharmaceuticals and the things that happened to me. I was very much a targeted individual from a young age and I had a lot of genetic damage done to try to take me out of the game and it took a lot to heal that. So that's not average, you know, I had to do a lot more healing than most so I could heal myself to be ready to heal others. Um, just know that one way that you can take back your reality is by, you know, activating your own DNA. I'm going to go ahead and start this in there too because I have to at one point. So we'll just get it over with. If you guys need me after, which you guys all are going to at some point, the link is above for my site. Um, we're here for activations, anything, attunements, readings, all sorts of stuff. A lot of you guys are being drawn to me because you're healers. 
you're meant to be attuned to me so we can get you to the right galactic frequencies so that you can go off on your own healing mission. So the link is above. Um, I am banned on Facebook. The only way that you can message me is through my business page, this page right here. Just shoot me a message if you need me. So we just have a lot going on right now for humanity. I'm going to be, um, if you guys have video topics, because like I'm very knowledgeable in anything. I don't, I'm telling you guys, stop reading the shit on Google. Stop watching these videos. They will furtherly cloud and entrap you in these realities. And I say this as someone who built the most of the large spiritual communities on Facebook. I was very involved with Lightworkers of the World till I realized it was dark. <laughs> till I realized that the amends, I'm not saying all the members, don't get mad at me, actually had a dark agenda and that's why it's run that way. And I went and built my own movements, New Earth United and several others, whatever it is. Um, and I actually played a huge role in helping build these communities around us on Facebook. So I'm very aware of who most people are, the information being spread. I only work with star seeds and healers of some sort. I'm not working with 3D people. So um, I have a vested interest in these communities and I'm seeing them as the problem. People get really upset I'm saying that and they, I'm going against the grain. I love these communities in the same sense, don't get me wrong, but I see them as the problem, everything that we were indoctrinated in. You woke up and you're being re-indoctrinated. I was teaching the law one, I'm teaching all the same stuff. You were re-indoctrinated and it is time that we get back to the truth. And how can we when people don't remember anything about themselves or where they're coming from? Um, the best thing that I can tell you is stop letting people tell you about yourself. And you could try like we do DMT activations, past life activations. That's how I got my memories back. So people are going and reading books and watching videos. That's the wrong thing to do. The best thing you can do to make this a game changer is work on your own energy. I'm trying to tell people that, you know, everyone wants a new place and a new earth and they think they're going to be able to keep all of their stuff and the American dream and stay in the same place. We made a life plan, you're included in it, you're part of my consciousness group, where the people that make this ascension are going to, as a group, leave this place together and we're going to actually go somewhere else to learn. So people are so wrapped up in the material, not understanding that's about to all fade away. And I learned that the hard way too. You guys can watch my journey and what I'm going through. And as a teacher, I go through everything first, pay attention to what I'm doing now. I just had to leave my house, my car and all of my stuff once again for my own journey to shift into a parallel timeline or a parallel reality. And all of you guys will be meeting me here when you're ready as a consciousness group. Sometimes I do things a little too early so just be aware, I'm watching you guys collect crystals, because <laughs> I was too. I thought I could take my clothes and crystals with me. Trust me, I just lost all my clothes again even too, and all of you will too. If you're going to actually make a shift like that, that's a real shift through a porthole point or a gateway to somewhere else to leave to go learn elsewhere, you're going to lose all of your things, and it's really crazy. A lot of you guys did that when you woke up. You might have shifted onto a fourth dimensional timeline that you're on now. And there is larger shift or merge points. And I just did a trial run of it. It was very stressful. It was very hard for me to go through energetically. And you have to understand, I've been purifying for years in front of you guys on feed. For years. All I do is work and take care of my energy. But I'm in a position where I'm doing energy work all day long. And I do that to amplify my powers. I have a lot of my Reiki students on this feed. My brother, he um, hurt his back real bad, like real bad. And I asked my students to heal. And I'm lucky if I can get a couple on that post. Then you're not understanding energy. The more that you use your abilities to help other people, the stronger they will become. So for any of you, it doesn't have to be energy. If you have an ability and you use it to be service of others and you assist someone, you will amplify your abilities. You'll amplify your power every time you do so. So I used my knowing of how the universe works to make myself very powerful. I just 24-7 am assisting and helping. And in doing that, I'm amplifying my own abilities daily and becoming very strong. You guys should be doing the same. The game changer will be when any, everyone will become service of others. And I know we think that we are, but until you actually start your mission, you're not going to be polarized one way or another. So a lot of you guys are having really hard lessons you're going through. Like someone said their whole world is crumbling. Oh yeah, it's gonna. I just told you. I've been telling you guys that. Are you not listening? 
That's good that she's starting to go through it now. That tells me where you're at spiritually. Because the people that are waiting are going to be straight fucked. Not everyone is going to make this ascension. Like I know everyone will teach you that we all do. All of humanity will ascend. People have gotten mad at me from day one. I'm going to keep saying it. This is hard work. Not everyone will make this ascension with us. It's becoming apparent that people are falling off that consciousness grid every day. That's why it's very, very important that we put out a call of action to the star seeds to step into their roles and to their missions because you can't raise your vibrational frequency overnight. So that's the problem. If you guys aren't doing this inner work now, we're going to run out of time. The time is about to hit us now. And I doubt you guys are ready if you haven't even been Reiki attuned or started your mission. So things are getting very, very urgent, more so every day. Be aware. Every one of you is contracted to learn from me. I don't care if you found this video in the most random place, on your friend's feed, in a group. I don't care what it is. Every circumstance of your life was accounted for, planned out, and contracted for. So on le some level, if you're even going to tune into this feed at all, you contracted to have me teaching you on some level right now. And it's obviously for both of our evolution. I've been learning how to remember teaching on all of you guys. It's been amazing and it's mutually beneficial. A lot of people are interested in space, aliens, whatever you want to call it, extraterrestrials. Well, I don't think people understand that there has been um, intergalactic help here for a while now. And the help that is here volunteered to come here. It is really past our spiritual evolution level. We're working all the time to assist humanity with little results. All of the time, 24 hours a day. And we're sacrificing a lot for these quarantined areas that in all fairness could just stay quarantined and not our problem. And the reason why there is so much intergalactic help here is because humanity sent out such a calling for assistance that it could no longer be ignored. But I'm going to tell you guys that this assistance will not be here permanently. It is very temporary. And you guys need to utilize it. I am seeking to train the healers while I'm here. And I keep telling everyone, no one ever listens to me. But you guys should be paying attention that everything I've ever said is always true. <laughs> like, I am speaking such deep truth that it shakes my entire soul when I'm channeling this to you. You guys should know that this is not a permanent role for me. These feeds were to train me in my mission and I will be relocated soon. So I keep on trying to tell you guys that you all hold a contract with me and none of you guys have fulfilled them. Very few of you guys have completed your training with me. <laughs> like, let's get real. The ones that thought they did, they, a lot of them blew it too. A lot of people are falling into these spiritual ego traps and getting lost. I look at ego like a veil. They talk about veils being pulled back. Those are layers of ego. And so there's so much of that ego programming in these spiritual communities around us. A lot of our healers are becoming lost. Again, waking up, doing their training, and becoming lost. And you cannot heal anyone until you heal yourself. Or all you'll do is harm people. Like you can go ahead and delude yourself. If you're still on drugs, you're still eating garbage food, you're not purified energetically, you're not going to do any good. You're going to actually harm the people that you're trying to heal. It is very important that you start with healing yourself before you seek to heal others. And you're all the healers. Um, I like to say that it's not about the energy. We're all working with the same energies. Some a little different, but it's the same energies to me in my world. The only thing that is going to set aside people with their healing abilities would be how purified you are as a channel. That's why I'm very powerful. All I do is purify my energy. You guys need to detox. I'm sick of telling you guys to get chlorella. I made an entire group of, you know, over a few thousand people in detox in the matrix because I got sick of telling everyone every day. Go get chlorella, go get turmeric, detox. You guys need to purify more. You're not where you need to be as these galactic channels. While you're getting better and better and you're making good progress and you should be very proud that you're even here having this chat with me, you really have a lot more work to do on your own healing now and your own training. So be aware that 
I seek to liberate now. It's like my main topic. I seek a deeper liberation. Clearly, we're going to do that through love, but I'm seeking a liberation where I actually finish my work and leave here. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the soul contracts I have left on this planet to do that. I'm burning through them rapidly, let's just say. I'm getting adept at navigating them. Well, I still hold contracts with all of you. So um, I'm going to have to give you guys a push. That I'm going to say that before you were born, you took out these contracts through my councils with me. The councils that I work with. Someone asked me if I work for the Galactic Federation of Light. Light. Sorry, that's a bullshit label. No. No, I do work for several councils as a healer. I'm employed through them here to be working here. And I did contract with you through those councils. So me and my councils, and I hold a council position now, I've been leveling up that spiritual hierarchy. And I've all been, also um, been upgraded to a council position. So I have a lot of say in these contracts, especially since they have my name on them. So you took out these contracts so that you could be trained in your own healing journey. And we haven't finished them. I'm going to start to put every one of you slowly. It's this process that's happening around you, whether you're aware of it or not. You will be made aware. I'm starting to put all of the starseeds that are contracted to me, which is all of you, in non-compliance. When we took out these contracts, you are aware that I only work on even energy exchange. I don't do one-sided help. My brother wanted healed. I'm sorry, I'm too busy today. I do not do one-sided work ever. It was meant to be mutually beneficial for our councils and for you, for me and for you. There are even rules of the universe. These are you that are going to people to be healed for free. There's nothing for free here. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. You're paying a high price for that free healing. Just trust me on that. Trust me on that. I was horrified when I'm watching a couple of my Reiki students do that. Be aware and be careful. Of what you're using your free will for. Because everything might be a contract around you. If you spend money, it's a contract. That's why we require money on my site. It is a contract that you are okay with me healing you. So that we can be very clear that I'm not violating your free will. It's very, very important. Just be aware of these things. So I'm going to start to put you guys in non-compliance. I'm sorry. If that's what we have to do as a council to get save humanity and save this planet, then we're going to do it. I understand these are extreme adept moves, and you guys are no match to navigate against them. I assure you, people think it's funny. Like, oh, someone was laughing at me the other day. You won't think it's funny because it, I'll tell you how it goes down. You're going to get pulled in front of our councils, and we're going to say, why are you not on your mission? And you're going to give your bullshit excuses Well, your three-day life I have a job, I have kids, I don't know what I'm doing, the same shit. And they will hold anything that you hold dear here. You guys have children, you have loved ones, whatever it is. And they will say, you're going to leave your children here because you will die. You will go back home or you can go back and start your mission. So it's really not optional. You can really think it's optional at this point. If you take on a soul contract, you're going to have to obligate them. Or you won't have to. If I ripped up your contract, that will be even worse for you. I assure you. So we're going to be pulling adept moves with these soul contracts. Most of you, I should be your last contract here. Besides maybe a love. That's what this journey leads to is love, by the way. Everyone thinks I'm crazy saying that too, right? Where is it going for me? This is a journey of love. It is a journey of love into yourself. And only through healing yourself can you move on past the contracts you hold with me. So most of you are at a standstill and you're not realizing it because you're not fulfilling your contract with me and you're not going to move past that point. You're just going to sit here permanently. Like, so most of you are right here, stuck on a contract with me and you probably have a couple more, maybe one, maybe none, whatever it is. And you're stuck at a roadblock and humanity is at a roadblock because these star seeds aren't fulfilling their contracts through these councils. So it's a huge problem. We're going to start to pull these contracts and we're going to force you onto your mission or you will die and you'll go to that other planet to continue late learning. And I keep on warning you guys how serious another cycle is here and what that would entail. You guys are picturing this life somewhere else like oh well, let's go back to another earth this was this life is 75,000 years later at the end of our cycle and you guys consider some of these places dark you should have seen the beginning of our cycle and the tribal places that you would have started out and how hard it would have been and what a journey it was just for us to make it here it's been such a journey people don't realize how many lives we've had to live just to get to this place so we could attempt this 
Like, I don't think people are understanding it. People are getting so lost in these kind of layers of illusion around us. There's nothing more that exists here than you healing yourself and coming to serve this planet. Your job, your kids, it's all obsolete, I assure you. Lisa Walker, crown chakra. And I had to pay attention to the time. I'm 29 minutes in. I was like two hours into my live yesterday. I'm going to be paying attention to my live because I have a lot of stuff to do. People aren't realizing. Um, Like I said, I'm going to actually be catching up on my Akashic readings on my site. And uh, if you guys need me, I'll be here. So I have a lot to do too because the ones that are on their missions are doing double, triple work for the ones that aren't. And it's putting the entire universe out of whack. And the problem is I don't have the same abilities as you. While I can go into people's past lives and heal them and remote view the future and do all sorts of special things, I bet you can do equally special things that are nothing like my abilities. So we actually need every person here to either step into their role or to stop with the confusion. The problem is a lot of the star seeds are the ones harming humanity. Did I say that right? Yeah. How many of you guys have had shitty experiences in your lives with your relationships, the people you were meant to love? Those were star seeds too. I assure you that there are only people incarnating during this time that were sent to serve. As fucked up as it may seem with our world leaders and everything going on, like I said, there are spiritual viruses that have infected humanity. So a lot of the star seeds are awake, asleep and harming humanity under these magic spells, not in control of their bodies, whatever it is. And it's a huge problem. Everyone wants to go heal the world. Heal yourself. And every person you've ever known, talked to, seen in your life will heal magically through you. You guys are that grid, those main fractals. I describe it like a tree. Like there's you got, there's us. And all these branches that come off of us. We don't go heal the humanity. We heal ourselves and humanity magically heals. All we have to do is activate our own DNA, repair it, and um, you know, activate everything inside of ourselves. And magically the whole world heals. We are able to affect more people than we know or even understand as I'm proving with these videos. Lisa, you're working on your crown chakra. It doesn't surprise me at all. You might be feeling low energy. Someone who has a bad crown chakra is going to be siphoning energy. Not even aware of it. You might be draining to your friends to be around. You might find people draining because it's kind of a mirror of what you get back. Um, a lot of things that can affect your crown chakra would be, like I just said, DNA damage. Um, things like energetic vampires, spiritual attacks, all sorts of things can be affecting your crown chakra. It's lighting up my entire skin. When I talk to you, you should do a chakra opening. At some point, you need some major energy work done on that chakra. Be aware. Erin Elizabeth, disruption. What's cutting you off from the flow? When I feel most not in the flow, it's when you're most in the flow. <coughs> People that are crying, my whole life is falling in. Amazing. You're in that flow. I hope Ashley watches this. You're in that flow. Amazing. I'm sorry. You had to crumble that illusion around you. It's a false reality you're living in. Thank God it's crumbling. I just watched my whole world crawl, crumble in like five times in the past three months. Amazing. As you strip away this reality, you'll see more and more clear. People want the vision I have. And I try to say it came, comes with a high price. The high levels of consciousness that I have attained have come at a high price lately, let's just say. You'll notice the magic around you, though. You'll notice all the synchronicities and the magic and the signs, though, that while things seem to be destroying it. Want me to tell you why? If you're seeing your reality falling, you better get off that timeline fast because you'll fall in with it. That's what was happening to me in California where I knew I was like, I have to get out of here. You better run. You better get out of that reality because these timelines are crumbling. These third dimensional, fourth dimensional timelines, whatever you want to call it, they're falling in and crumbling around us. We know that anything not serving humanity has to go. I'm sorry. That's all of your lives. Your lives, most of them, 80% of the people on this feed, your life is not serving humanity at this moment. It is very service of self and you're going to lose it all. That unless what you are doing or manifesting is in alignment with the good of all now, it will not work out. It will start to crumble on crazy levels and you guys are not prepared enough. Like I keep on, you know, ranting to you. Like, can I wake you up? I know you think you're awake, but can we wake up more possibly through this energy I'm channeling? It is my main intent. 
Nicola Martin. Amazing. Um, I hold many sets of galactic codes for activations. That's why I'm trying to attune my students and get them where they need to be energetically. That is something that I pass on. Um, I keep telling you guys, at a minimum, I need you to be attuned to Reiki Master, which we teach up to that, so that I can work with you on galactic levels. We need you at a certain space energetically. So most of you guys contracted for your healing courses through our site. Check it out. It is something that I pass on to you with your galactic attunements. Mental conflict. We're creating everything we don't like with our minds because we bought into this reality from day one. But if you think about the dream, your dream world, and I know you don't have a lot of experience with that because our memories are being taken every night with magic. The ones that you're bringing back are false memories, most of them that are being implanted. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you about the natures of reality. So... I know that we might not even understand the dream realms. That's why they're taking our memories. If we understood the dream realm, we could understand this reality much better, right? So our memories are being taken. But from what you recall from these false memories that you came back with, you can understand the dream realm. That maybe if I wanted to sit there and think about something like a castle I wanted to visit, I could just materialize it right there and go play in it, right? Well, the natures of this reality are exactly the same. There's no difference. That's how hijacked this reality has become because it's been very dense, very solid to us. Where we're broke, we're sick, we can't do anything. But it's actually exactly like the dream realm where we should be able to just instant manifest. Like if I want to go play in a castle, it'll just materialize, I'll go play in it. And then I'm like, let's go across the world. You could just fly there. It's actually exactly the same. There are no other rules. Janine Brockton, yes, share this feed for a chance to win a third eye activation. If you win it, I come find you. It's really amazing. Um, I was doing DMT activations this morning for your third eye. We do third eye activations. Um, all of you guys have had DMT released in your brains during trauma, stress, whatever it was. And we can reactivate that DMT. The goal is to purify yourself and to have more spiritual experiences like you would maybe like hallucin on hallucinogens, but completely sober. You want to have more visual oriented experiences so that you can understand this reality on your own. A lot of my understanding and knowing of the universe came from the visions that I've had from the natural DMT experiences. Janine, you're doing amazing though. Amazing. Like just the fact that you're finding me, it seems like I'm all over the wall a lot of the time because like I said, I run these spiritual communities um, with my free time. I like to donate my time in a way to be service of others. I put a lot of light work in for free to give back. So it might seem like everyone's kind of finding my videos and seeing them, but I'm telling you they're not. Only a certain group that is contracted to me is being led to me. It's pretty amazing. So just know that if you're even finding me or talking to me, it tells me something amazing about you, that you're just at this place spiritually that is really above comprehension to most. Alexis Schwartz, transformation. We're going through a crazy transformation that people aren't even aware of. And I know I'm really into the chakras and the basics, just like I should be, right? But I've seen where we're headed, where we end up, and the evolution of humanity. And it's happening rapidly with this energy. That's why it's so important that you guys are drinking more water and more liquids. It's the best thing you can do for your body. And, I, you know, I've seen the templates for humanity. It's pretty amazing. We came from such places of darkness and we're not even into the light yet, I assure you. We're just kind of creeping out and checking it out. We stayed hidden in these places for many lifetimes. Through fear, we were persecuted, we had all sorts of experiences, good and bad, and we learned many things. And we learned how to hide. A lot of you guys had really fucked up lives. That was to hide the knowledge you brought with you. The problem was, like I said, you got hacked and we can't access that data with these kind of quarantines in place and all the magic being used, whatever it is. 
I put up a really good article yesterday on this and how you guys can unlock your actual memories, your past, and things like that. It's pretty amazing. Just be aware that you're transforming and your main aim right now should be to work on yourself energetically and to activate so that you can understand yourself on real levels, not the bullshit people are telling you so that you know yourself and the things that you brought here. It took me a while to understand my mission and what I'm even doing here. Because while I've been on my mission for three years, there were things going on I was not aware of happening through me that I'm just now understanding through these energy encodings. Gail jumped out of bed. And that's she's fast to galactically respond. As are a lot of the people around me that I've been working on energetically. I think that's amazing. <laughs> I think that's amazing. It took me a while to wake up and respond to my calling to assist humanity. And it's taken me a while. To, it took me a while to purify myself as a channel. So the people that are picking up on my vibrations really fast, they're at a good place energetically. But you guys should know I'm always doing energy healing on everyone around me and trying to assist. My main mission is to assist this consciousness group, whether you guys are aware of it or not. Even if you don't know me, you should remember me and my role here. You should be celebrating. I'm celebrating. Everyone thought that I couldn't make it to California. Everyone thought I could never make it to the United Kingdom and I couldn't be doing what I was doing. Most of all, my family, the people around me, right? It's okay. I did it. And I'm celebrating now. I think we should be celebrating. Like, I'm going to take the weekend off. I'll be here the rest of today. And I'm going to take tomorrow and Sunday off, except for healing work, of course, right? Um, so I'll be taking a couple of days off, except for some healing work. I can't wait. We should be celebrating. I'm making a music video with Agent P, too. We're going to go film a music video tomorrow. I think it's really awesome. He was doing music yesterday. And he um, has a really cool song he wrote about me. And he put, like, anonymous sound clips in it like in the song, which is like crazy and amazing to me because we're obsessed with anonymous. We work with a lot of anonymous stuff and I think it's awesome. Wait till you hear it. We should be celebrating. Humanity should be celebrating. I understand we have the capable ability of destroying ourselves soon, but we did also contract here to have fun experiences. We didn't just contract here to slave away like the universe would, like you guys not doing your jobs would like me to be, right? <laughs> Like, we actually came here to do fun things, I swear. Like, we were supposed to come here and have fun. It sounds absurd. I mean, I just worked 30 hours and 48 hours. To say I'm working overtime every day is an understatement. Let me just put it that way. Because there are so many people, especially my students, not stepping into their roles. When I put a Reiki post up in my space with a thousand of you that are contracted to learn through me and I ask you to practice Reiki on someone and one person responds, we have serious fucking problems. Serious problems. And you're going to have them with me. A lot of you guys might not be familiar with me, but I can be really hard on myself and the people around me. But when I put out a calling for you to practice Reiki on someone and that many people respond, we have serious problems in these communities. That's all I'm going to say. And you're not understanding how reality works because that would have helped you. That was an opportunity for you to strengthen your abilities. Everyone wants to be the healer, the shaman, whatever it is. Go help someone. I'm calling on assistance and no one's responding. I've been putting out a call for galactic assistance on my mission for, I would say, three weeks straight through my feeds. I need assistance. You're all contracted to me. In my eyes, none of you guys are on your mission. You can go ahead and tell me how you were on it for years. Perfect. We haven't begun them yet. Not even me. Okay, keep deluding yourself. So I'm putting out calls for assistance, and every one of you guys should be in my inbox responding. But we're paying attention to who is and who isn't for a reason. But we should be celebrating, especially Gail, because she's picking up on these callings. If you're not, you're going to be in trouble later. <laughs> That's all I had to say. Let's see. Robert Wayne. Don't ask for intergalactic assistance and think you can't, you're not going to assist as well. Don't call on intergalactic assistance and think we're going to come here and do all the work and humanity is going to do nothing. It's not going to work that way. Robert, you're going to work on your heart chakra. I already know. <laughs> I already know. It's cool. I'm like real tuned in. You don't understand. Okay, so I'm over here. I'm in the UK. Who knows where I'll end up on my journey. The universe has a habit of moving me around where I'm needed, right? Well, I'm clearly needed to be healing the 
heart chakra of the earth and as well as our soul group. It's through our heart chakra that we liberate. It's not through like the love. <clears throat> it's mainly like think about the people in your life that you probably hated or want to get away from. Then those are the people that you need to work with. Not the people that are easy to love. The people that have been hard for you to love. Those are your lessons. And we can only liberate through a deeper forgiveness and understanding. I'm not saying you shouldn't run like hell from those toxic people. But now that you're kind of out of those areas, right? You should be past those lessons. Maybe you guys can make a list of every bad experience you've ever had that you're trying to ignore so that you can retrieve those aspects of yourself that you lost. We are creating fragmentations. Um, it's like a computer, like I'm saying, humanity is becoming fragmented. You have lost pieces of your soul. You are not whole yet. You have to recover them. Those experiences that you're ignoring, like if you had a bad experience in third grade you're trying to forget, that's a piece of your soul. Some type of abuse you don't want to think about, that's a piece of your soul. We've become fragmented and until we become whole, we have very real problems because we can't heal others. Like I said, um, for anyone that is experiencing any type of heart chakra issue, this life especially, these are repeating cycles from your entire cycle and you'll notice a theme where you're having the same lessons over and over a lot of the times maybe you're attracting the same relationships to you maybe you're attracting the same experiences with people you know taking advantage of you using you whatever it is jobs that you hate whatever it is you can heal these things um the best thing that i can recommend is our shamanic healing package we do a deep soul retrieval past life healing and it's like a whole package it's really cheap too maybe check out our shamanic um, healing package and do some soul retrieval work work on your heart chakra I'm sending out a heart chakra activation every video this week while well, the week's over for me so I'll be doing a heart chakra activation through this video though so you guys should be drinking a lot of water if you're watching my feeds Nina is under the God spell well humanity is still under spells I won't go there though um, as much as we think that we're awake we have yet to really tap into the essence of this stuff still. We have a long way to go. Your third eye is amazing, but you need to keep working on it. Um, keep taking the chlorella. Keep taking turmeric. A lot of this process is detoxing and activating ourselves on deeper levels. Like I keep on saying, work on your third eye. Coconut oil is really good for your third eye. Tammy Christensen. I know everyone was attacked last night in the astral. All of humanity. <laughs> I know, that's why it's my topic today. I don't really want, my intent is not to uh, create fear, trust me, on that. But all of humanity actually was affected last night in the astral. Every one of you. That's why I just thought I'd put it out there. Because a lot of you guys probably should wake up, should have woken up with bruises or feeling like shit. Feeling low energy. Every person on this planet was actually targeted and attacked in the astral last night. So I know a lot of people aren't consciously aware of the things happening behind the scenes. And it was already known that would happen. And there were already quarantines being discussed, put it being put into place. That's bad for humanity. Anytime we are re-quarantined, it affects our DNA and makes us unreadable. And it really has serious effects. So I'm understanding this. You have to realize how deeply connected we all are how interconnected we all are that if something is affecting me it's affecting your mission more than you know I was trying to explain this when people when I was in California I was like if I fail at this our entire consciousness group fails at their mission because of the roles that I have taken on and the contracts I've taken on so I don't know if people realize the interconnectedness of this we have um, this traffic children thing happening in Arizona I'm gonna go ahead and probably do a video on um, with Amelia we're just having a hard time syncing up times right I'm on UK time but listen I was explaining how these are humanity's assets but these new wave of children are very gifted and special they came here with the templates we need to rebuild a new earth and they're being taken as food sources and if people can't feel that then they're fucked that's affecting you and me more than that you would ever know energetically. Because in taking those kids' power, they're using it against us. And I know that they're teaching you to ignore this stuff. How about you woke up and you just ignore everything bad in the world? Then you're not a very good light worker. Are we not here to assist and to help? So there are very dangerous teachings going around that are just going to keep you in a false reality and keep you service to self, not even realizing it. Understand the interconnectedness of humanity.
Daniel Bridges. I'm going to go ahead and put the link. I keep on saying this. You guys need to join my network so I vibe in because my personal page is banned. You guys can go ahead and search Sparks of Divine Light Healing. I have two groups on here. I have a 420 group and I have a Reiki study space, but it's also for all levels of the other energetic classes that I teach. So we learn with people of all levels. Don't feel fall into that Reiki master trap and think, oh, I'm already a Reiki master. This person has nothing to offer me because a lot of my students have tended to do that. Danielle, join my networks. I'll, put, I'll go ahead and put the one link below. You guys just have to search it. It's real easy. This is about to be a new beginning. And we're not going to see a new beginning until we let go of the old. That's your house, your cars, and everything around you. I'm sorry. You're gearing up to see this entire holographic reality be updated on crazy levels. And in the blink of an eye, you will be transported in the same spot to another reality that is unrecognizable to you. And you're going to go there with just yourself and just your energy. And like I said, I've been purifying for years. And it was still kind of crazy to walk away from everything and just go to another country with nothing. Once again, just my energy. I understand I come with amazing abilities and things I brought, but it was still kind of crazy to go through. And this is just practice for what's happening, going to happen with humanity. You're all going to have to do the same thing. So now I'm understanding it on deeper levels, what we're getting ready for. And the thing is, I've done so much energy work, but if you haven't, it's going to be so crazy because all you're going to have is your energy at some point. Daniel Bridges, amazing. I'm changing a lot of you guys energetically. It's how I can hack the matrix. While the elite are hacking it with fear and false flag attacks and killing people and t taking children and trafficking them, they're taking these ley line points and they're weighing down consciousness. I seek to do the opposite. I seek to raise my vibe. You guys make me vibe real high. I love it. I'm real happy with my jaw. This is my bliss. I, I mean, I love it. I love it. So I can hack my vibration easy and I can go ahead and I can influence the light workers. And I find that to be very, very powerful. If I can even uplift your vibration like a little bit and you have a little bit of a better day, that's all we can do every day. All you can do every day is vibe as high as you can, vibe as po high as possible. And that's how we determine how high the grid goes. We're as much of an important asset to that grid as the Pyramids of Giza. You are just as crucial to this consciousness grid as the pyramids of Giza. So it's very important, your own vibration, more important than what the rest of humanity is doing. Because I look at that like the illusion. There's a lot less souls in this matrix than you've been led to believe. I believe there's only our consciousness group and everything else is fake. So... I personally seek to influence this group, and I have been from day one, this consciousness group. But of course, I had to gather all of you, right? So I had a lot of galactic help in the energy and the vibrations I'm putting out to draw the right people back to me from our consciousness group. A lot of you guys have been vibing around me for a while, and maybe you're making friends with my friends, and you have a lot of the same friends because we have one soul group. I mean, I know there are those that seek to infiltrate our circles, but let's get real. Eventually, this one consciousness group is going to come together as one and we ascend out of here. And trust me, the rest of humanity is just a matrix illusion. It's not important at all. Only us and our energy is to do this. So that's why I seek to kind of try to influence things from the inside out. Uh, I do have email, but I'm going to be real slow getting back to you on that. I assure you. Just business page message me if you need me. It's not hard. I check that all day long. And I don't even... While the site email is forwarded to me, I'm not going to get that. You'll just have to business page me on here. Kimberly Renee, good morning. It's an amazing energy. Like I said, we're day three of a space storm and it's going to pick up intensity every day till Thursday. But the councils that I am employed by are gifting us with amazing galactic energies to help us with our ascension at the same time. Um, some of you guys can feel the energy. Some of you guys can't. But it's amazing. You may want to utilize it to get activated. A lot of you guys know I do a lot of my attunements during these space storms. It's an amazing energy to work with. I feel amazing. Spend more time in solitude. If I'm around people, I can't get any information, as much information. I can get information all the time, but not as much. If I'm meditating or if I'm spending time alone, I'm going to get a rapid influx of information. So spend more time in solitude. It's how we recharge. We should be recharging more than our cell phones, right? That's a concept for me. All right. <laughs> Charging them all day long, right? Charge them. I'm going to have to charge this device right after. Are we charging? Are we recharging? 
We recharge when we're alone, though, and through meditation. There's a difference between sleeping and meditating. When we sleep, yeah, we go ahead and we reset our energy. I tell everyone that after they do any energy work, after they sleep, they'll feel amazing because your energy resets. But let's get real. You're only going to be recharging with cosmic energy when you're meditating. It's a different type of energy source. So when we meditate, we're actually recharging kind of like a cosmic energy. Meditate more. Ashley, good. I put a message in for you. Um, I personally always need another healer to assist me, usually on this journey. I mean, I kind of do, but I don't. Let's get real. (laughs) But... You know, I try to train people that way, right? Like, I try to train the other healers. Like, you can assist me <clears throat> if I have issues. I mean, I got astral attacked with the rest of humanity last night, right? So, um, I mean, of course, I have other galactic help, too. But I like to train the other healers that way. I try to tell people that you shouldn't be healing yourself. It's not going to be effective. I'm not sure why. Um, I always felt like that with the people closest to me, too. Maybe we're too close to the situations. I'm not sure. Just be aware of that. It's good you're practicing, though. Candy LeMay, amazing. I'm going to start stalking you. You always pop up when I'm, like, starting to stalk you. I'll be stalking you in a minute to see what's going on. Material harvest. Let's get some abundance going. I think me and her are kind of working on that anyway because I'm sending her crazy energy all the time. And what else better do I have to do? I'm working here every day regardless. What else better do I have to do than heal this group? So I'm sending her crazy energy. Um, I'm starting at rock bottom once again. Ground zero, we called California, and we were not joking. We went through a ground zero training facility program that was hard as fuck to get me ready for this, to get me ready for my UK mission. It was so hard, and we still have other people in that training program. I just can't even tell you how hard it was. And so we had to hit the reset button on our lives to be able to go do this further on my mission. So I'm starting from rock bottom again, and that's okay with me. I came here with some such energetic understanding at this time it should be much easier and we're gonna really have to manifest some crazy abundance so i'm gonna be channeling lots of manifesting energy into these movements these groups and these spaces because i'm doing crazy manifesting here i just had to manifest new clothes all order all new clothes and all sorts of shit (laughs) like literally i had to walk away with nothing again so i'm trying to like rebuild real quick so we're gonna be manifesting crazy abundance And you know that's my main focus is manifesting. Um, I am a generator. So I create the energy for the manifestors. And I've been seeking the dreamers. I've been seeking the shamans, the visionaries, the ones with imagination and creative abilities. A lot of you guys are very creative. Oh my God, you should see the things I see around us, the amazing things people are making and doing. I am seeking those that have not lost their creative abilities yet. Anything creative. I don't care if it's scrapbooking, knitting. I don't care. That is a form of channeling energy. I need those that are creative to help me. Because while I have the energetic components, you have something we need for this new earth. So a lot of people are going to be figuring out, oh my God, that's me. And that's amazing. I'm going to be drawing those visionaries to me. You know, I'll be moving. I'm not moving anywhere ever again. (laughs) Want to bet? (laughs) You know, I'll be moving. I'm not moving anywhere ever again. Oh no, I'm not moving. I don't think you understand. Um, This is like a permanent situation for sure. So I'm not moving. Allison knows that too, right? I see Allison. I am definitely not moving. You better go check your third eye. Go take some chlorella. I'm not moving. I know. This is my problem. This is the disconnect. Like, this is such a disconnect. Amazing. That's that's an inaccurate prediction though. There's not even a probability of that. There's a probability of in like 10 years I could decide to go back to the United States, but I doubt I will. So I'm not moving anytime soon. You might want to get a third eye activation and some chlorella. Allison, we're going to integrate ourselves and to become whole. It was like what I was just talking about with the soul retrieval work. And like I said, you guys should be making a list of every shitty experience that you would prefer to never think about. Oh, I have lots of them. I had major soul disconnect to the point where almost my entire soul was out of my body. Hence the problem with humanity, right? If we're so fragmented that, you know, we will be harming other people on those levels. Like for a long time, I was making very negative ripple effects. 
and now I'm just making positive ones. We're going to integrate and become whole. <clears throat> okay, listen to this one. Heidi had a bad experience. That was the government experimenting on you. <laughs> I know people get had a bad extraterrestrial experience. Like I said, there are there is technology beyond our grasp of understanding being used on us in the matrix. And anyone who has had those negative experiences, such as being examined, whatever it was, they'll tell you. Like I love the New Age community. They'll tell you, no, you just agreed to donate genetics for this. It just must be your path. That's inaccurate. Actually, there's a lot of like I said, memory implants going on. And what better way than to experiment on your own citizens? And then implant them with a fear about extraterrestrials. They would love to keep us afraid of extraterrestrials because then they will not have to let go of their oil game. Free energy is just everywhere. I'm sorry, I'm working with it every day. What do we have a need for any type of energy other than the energy all around us? The source energy. Are you kidding me? We don't have a need for any of this shit. Like really? So you've been dream, um, you've been implanted with false memories. Just know that that was your government experimenting on you. And they do that. They do that by using the rules of free will in the other realms. Like I just told you, there are no free. There is no free will rules in the astral or the other realms. Like here, this is the only realm of free will. So if they catch you outside of those realms, you're fair game. Unfortunately, that's why it's very important that we understand that there are things that we can do to protect um, ourselves. I just put up a, I don't know if it's up yet, but we put up a new activation where there's actually a malware like for your own DNA that you can put up so that you're no longer able to be spiritually attacked. There are adept things that you can do to prevent these things and it's pretty amazing. But just know that you're here for a deeper wisdom. You're going to get it not from the words I'm saying, but from my energy. I can't tell you anything. One of my students just went off the grid. She said she didn't feel like she was learning anything. And I had to laugh about it. I'm calling bullshit because her energy was tell telling differently. I was watching her aura because I make you guys take these aura pictures just elevating so fast in crazy ways. You're not going to get this knowing that you're looking for from a YouTube video. You're going to get it by activating yourself and activating your DNA like I told you. <laughs> Let's see... Um, Carl, they're big in iodine here. I'm going to stand by the way I was trained because I had to do a lot of training intergalactically for my mission. Don't fuck with iodine. It's not good for removing metals. It's actually bad for you unless you have extreme cases of radiation, which I understand like some people have cancer. Maybe you had radiation. I would say maybe look into it then. I wouldn't even use it ever. It's not good for your body. But then again, everything that you've been trained to think what is good for you usually isn't. I would stick with chlorella and turmeric. We used chlorella as an LJ in past lives. Um, spirulina is not going to detox you. It's a different type of organism. So stick with the chlorella. That is what we used in previous lives here. And everyone, I personally think everyone should be on it until they die. This planet has reached toxic levels. And you're going to see an influx of viruses being unleashed. Not that they already haven't been. Any type of virus is man-made. So you see a lot of the flu, AIDS, everything like that. These are man-made viruses that have been unleashed on humanity. And you're going to see a lot more of them. So this chlorella will actually repair you on a cellular level. So it's less about pulling. It is about pulling the metals out. But it's about repairing your genetics. Let go of fear. We have so much fear ingrained in us and I haven't put this out yet, but I'm going to do an article on how everyone really has PTSD without even realizing it on crazy levels. Um, and you do, you've had this brought out in your genetics. Any shitty gene has been turned off and your ability turned on and your abilities have been turned off through your genetics and, um, the hacking that has occurred to you. So we have a lot to repair. Let go of that fear. Any fear keeps you on a lower frequency and imprisoned. Alexi Schwartz, authority. I think it's no joke that we, it's public knowledge. We don't like these systems and the things that are occurring. Um, it's very complex. Like I keep on telling you, there's a lot of factions at play. Like I said, there are viruses unleashing humanity. What if everyone had a pure soul? made of source energy and we all were at a place of the same evolution and we all came here to assist this planet even the leaders we hate what if everyone is a star seed and we all came to change things i know crazy concept the viruses that are infecting us are spiritual they are in the unseen 
Yep, Dale's taking chlorella. It took me a while. They say it takes three months to pull 80% of the metals out of your body when you detox. I was on it for a few years. <laughs> Sorry, people, someone was like, how long have you been detoxing on it? I just took it three years. I just came off of it. I've been off of it for maybe a month or two because of my shift I just made. And I feel like shit compared to how I would feel on it. I'll just put it that way. I'm getting a new bottle now. And it's something you should probably be on every day because of the chemtrails and all the toxins in your water. And I know people don't care. They're drinking bottled water. Great. You're showering in it. I can't wait to show you guys the list of chemicals in the water just in the United States. They don't have to legally expose them in other countries. It's really crazy. It's not any different any other places I've visited. I know. I had to go. Mold invasion. Someone says something about a mold invasion. Um, no, there's no mold here. <laughs> I love it. Yes, the healers need to heal first. That's the problem. They're thinking that you're thinking your entire life you could assist other people. How many lessons have you had where you tried to help someone and it went bad? <laughs> How many times have you felt the desire to like help a friend, a relative, whatever it is? You know those lessons went bad. We cannot assist till we heal ourselves. You'll get no other results other than you'll continue to harm. So we have to really fix ourselves energetically. Yes, the light workers are being tar have been targeted though. Like I said, you're a main fractal point. So, you know, what better way than to go hack one of the star seeds and influence that whole grid through your energy. It's really crazy. Um, most of humanity has been affected through our sacrals. We have a lot of sacral chakra healing to do. It's not just limited to, you know, the feminine or the masculine. All of humanity does because you have to understand this is the seat of our pranic energy. This is where your life force energy originates for this, right, right, this little area right here. How would you access that? Through sex? Mainly through sex. So a lot of your relationships were manipulated as well. Your desire to love allowed you to become a food source a lot of the times without realizing it. A lot of the relationships you're in now, like my next topic that I really have to get into is how, why you're going to need to energetically detox from your relationships. Mm. That at some point you're going to have to take back your power and it's being taken through your relationships and the people that you love. And at some point you're going to have to energetically detox from these merging points. I'll probably do it like you know, Monday or my next video, it's going to be like a huge topic I'm about to get into. We're going to talk about sex and that chakra and how you have been manipulated a little bit deeper. So I'll probably do that like Monday or something. Just know that it's very real. Gil, loads of things are happening. Unfortunately, most people aren't um, consciously aware of the things and the Things occurring with the assistance for humanity. Like I said, I, I work with several councils. That's why that Galactic Federation of Light is bullshit. A lot of these councils are not getting along at the moment. A lot of these intergalactic councils that have a contracted interest in this planet are actually not getting along. Um, on very real levels. Uh, I am very diplomatic and I seek to bridge these communities a lot of you know. I don't care if you guys all don't get along. I could care less. We have to come together. And we also have to come together on intergalactic levels. So most people are not as aware of me as what's happening for humanity. Like we're getting ready for this quarantine. I'll give you more information as I'm getting it. It's still something that's being implemented and put into action. And it's a really big deal. People thought it was really good when they were talking about quarantines being removed. That was another hack job. It was not good for humanity. It was not someone coming to save you or help you. I knew that a year ago when they were talking about that. Wow, we removed these, these quarantines. And I was like, wow, as a planet, we're moving through space. We don't know to where, right? I have a good idea. But we're moving through space. And we're going by the planet of Orion. And right then, the quarantines got removed. That didn't, that didn't make sense to me. But everyone's like, oh, that's a good thing, right? No, that was not a good thing. And it's not a good thing that new ones are having to be put in place. So we have a lot going on. Use your awareness. Use your discernment. Like, it should be past. Oh, this resonates. I'm a Pleiadian. Someone asked me if I was Pleiadian and I almost died yesterday. I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I don't know if you guys aren't listening to my videos. None of you are. You may have lived at many places intergalactically you're not a Pleiadian you're not a Blu-ray you're not a Syrian you're much more 
So just know that. Use your awareness. It should be more than this resonates with you. Like you better feel it on a knowing soul level. Like people are like, oh, it resonates. Okay, well, isn't everything resonating really? <laughs> just use your intuition. It's like a muscle. Mine's so strong because I'm using it all the time, like I said. We have to learn how to tune in ourselves, not through other people. That's the goal. Let's see. I know I got to get off here soon. I'm going too long on my feeds. Bradley sending you a ton of love. It was good to see you in our spaces. Come vibe. Come join them. I, I stream. I'll stream another time today. I go. I try to go live twice a day. Like I'm trying to get my energy out there. I'm trying to assist in whatever way I can. Just I assure you on that. And I am a very clear channel and I work with crazy powerful galactic energy. So for me, I can just get out there on feed and I can do this through these feeds. So I'm going to be streaming live again. Like I said, join my Sparks of Divine Light Healing groups. I stream from the 421 today in a little bit. So it's amazing to see you there. You have an amazing heart chakra. That's how we achieve liberation. It's more than most people have grasped. It's pretty amazing. I'm glad you could tune in because like I said, I'm sending you guys a heart chakra activation. Okay. I look like shit and I have no clothes. I was just telling my boyfriend that the clothes that I did grab when I left all my stuff again in the UK because I left my stuff, came to the UK with some stuff and then left it again. So I was like, all my clothes are dirty. <laughs> all my clothes are dirty that I did bring. I'm going to have to go do laundry and I have no clothes to wear. So I'm trying here. I don't have a hair straightener, but I'm manifesting one. And I'm kind of assembling in crazy ways from ground zero but I said I was okay with it because you guys just saw when I did that crazy road trip across the entire United States and my hair looked a lot crazier so I'm cool with it <laughs> I'm cool I'm willing to sacrifice anything for the good all and I've proven that time and time again and when you guys can do the same we will elevate out of here as a group like I said it has little to do with humanity and more to do with where you're at yourselves so amazing to see you Brittany I'm manifesting something for you too. <laughs> I'm always just sitting here working and manifesting and creating. I love to be creative. It's something that I need in my life. Like what I said, well, I'm up here creating this energy. I have a boyfriend downstairs channeling other creative energy into music and I love it. Let's admit we have no idea what we know. Let's admit we don't have no idea. Wait, <laughs> we have no idea what we're doing. Let's just admit that. I know they'll teach you that you know everything in these spiritual communities. Let's just finally get to a place where we admit we have no idea what we're doing and we have no idea where we're going. Or you can try to tell me otherwise and I'll tell you why you're wrong. <laughs> Once we can get to that place, I think it will be a game changer when we figure out we don't know everything. That I have no idea where I'm going to end up. I just know I'm not going to leave here. And good luck trying to make me. <laughs> so I have to believe that, you know, I was able to be relocated anywhere in the world. Like I was trying to explain to my high school friend who I'm starting in Reiki, which is amazing. She's picking up on my galactic healing, my galactic calling too. And it's pretty much a synchronicity. I hope she's watching this because her mom actually was instrumental in teaching me how to do cards when I was a kid, tarot cards, when I was a little kid, right? <laughs> Some of my earlier memories. <laughs> and now I'm going to train her in Reiki. And she, she wants to be of service. Her entire life fell in. Her relationship sucks. Her job's crumbling. Well, actually, the same thing's happening to you because you're not on your path as a healer. So nothing will ever be in alignment with your higher self except for who you are as a healer. So these jobs, these relationships, they are not in alignment with your truth. They're affecting your throat chakras more than you know. If you are not in alignment with your higher self and who that is before you came here, that is you in the future, but also you before you came here, because of how time works, it will just crumble in. So I'm, f I'm living a life that is very in alignment with my mission. If people are not in alignment with it, they're removed fast as fuck from my life. I tell the people that. I warn them before it happens. No one ever listens. <laughs> like, I'll warn them. You know that this isn't going to work. You need to do this. Whatever. Let me work. They never listen. So anything that is not in alignment with who you are is going to crumble away. And you are the healers. If you're watching this feed, you're a healer. So things are happening rapidly on crazy levels. Just be aware that if things are crumbling, that is why. It is to push you on your training. So now she's coming to me and she's going to be trained. And I think that's amazing. 
your life will continue to fall in until you obligate your healing contracts. And so for me, I was explaining to her that if there was somewhere I wanted to live in the world or visit, I would be relocated there in a minute through my mission. It's pretty amazing, right? Look at me here. Like in a minute, the entire universe aligned to move me to California and then here. So it's pretty amazing the things that you will be able to do through service. You're never going to be able to do those things just on the paths you're on, I assure you. I know everyone's energy is amazing around me. I want to take it next level though. Uh, you guys have amazing energy already, trust me. You guys are the healers, you're the shamans, you're the prophets. You don't understand the spiritual leaders that I'm drawing to me. Or the things that I see in your caches or each of you or the things you brought here. There's this amnesia and this disconnect. And I'm hoping to bridge that. I really am. And I'm always telling the people around me, especially Gail, I can't put this stuff in the words all the time. Like everyone wants me to go, like I get given, I get given this knowledge. I'm always getting upgraded and activated too. I get activated more than any of you guys. I assure you it's crazy, okay? Like if you ever see me not working like tomorrow, I'm actually going to be upgraded and activated because you guys are getting upgraded and activated next Wednesday and Thursday. And I go through my upgrades about a week early, I say. So I'm going to have a day off tomorrow. But if I ever have a day off, it just sucks in my world and I get activated and upgraded. So I'm going through these things too. And as I'm given more and more information to teach, it's very hard the way I receive it to put it into words. It's very hard for me to translate it into this language. I have a hard time with the English language. And I really feel that's why we're trapped in these languages too. So it's really hard for me to put into words. But I can send you downloads of energetic understanding. I can activate you. I can send you energetic, energy encoded in all different ways that will assist you much better than my words ever. And scales getting rid of toxic people. I love it. Good. I want you guys to, one of the ways, we, we can hack the matrix back. <laughs> I do it every day on crazy levels. Why do you think I'm shut down so bad by Facebook? It took them a minute to figure out what I was doing. Let me just say my backup account is banned worse than my real account. <laughs> In a minute. It's not going unnoticed by their algorithm. Let's just put it this way. And it's affecting a lot of the people around me. A lot of my mods are now being targeted. It's not what I'm saying now. It is what I am going to do later. That will be the game changer and it's not going unnoticed i'm not going unnoticed who i am i can try to hide in these places and in these roles but it's definitely not going unnoticed one of the best dream hacks is to put any type of clear crystals by your bed i had those huge selenite sticks and i put them all under my bed <laughs> like those really big selenite sticks i love selenite it's really good for flowers don't put it in your flowers it'll kill them but if you put it around plants it will keep them fresh but you can put any type of clear crystals near your bed. Go ahead and throw some energy in them with the intent to bring back your dreams and it will work like magic. You don't want to sleep with black rocks by your bed. <laughs> Sorry. Don't put any black rocks by your bed. It will further cloud what's going on there. Try to stick to the clear ones. I'm going to go ahead and read these. Yep, Gail, two beauties. You should see the ones on me. I know, I'm really adept in this stuff. I get given more information than I can handle on a daily basis. Like every morning, here, this is what you're going to talk about in your videos, blah, blah, blah. I get these rapid downloads, too much information. I'm so interested in DMT because a lot of you guys know I died and came back. Um, I keep talking about it all the time, but I died for like seven minutes. And I really like did what the Egyptians would do, which would transcend life and death on a crazy level. Like, unfortunately, I kept trying to leave here at that point in my journey. It just wasn't happening. I clearly got sent back to serve a greater role for humanity. But that's the point where doctors won't even bring you back. They actually stopped doing CPR on me and I woke up on my own getting put in a body bag. It was very crazy to go through. But I, I make you see crazy chills to talk about. But... I regained all the memories like I still have all the memories from when I died and it was just something that like usually you'll have a memory in this life and it will fade away like you have a childhood memory maybe you can't remember it as good those memories from when I died are something that is I'm going to be able to remember just as they happened like in crazy profound ways so I had crazy experiences but my entire brain flooded with the EMT 
and um, like scientifically, if you were to CAT scan my brain, areas would light up where they don't usually light up in the human body. That would give you extra sensory abilities. I came back much different. Like I wasn't ever going to be the same. I was never going back to prison planet to work. Like it just wasn't going to happen. I came back much different. And that's why I have such an interest in DMT because I understand it to be a doorway to the other realms. So I can do what Edgar Casey could do in, um, he will be put in a trance to channel. And he was one of the most amazing gifted prophets there was. But he would have to be induced and put in a trance. The law of one was channeled while in trance. And we know that if you're going to go ahead and be put under, you could be susceptible to negative entities channeling that way. Like it's not good. So I'm channeling now and all the time while awake, which is kind of crazy. I've yet to really see anyone with those same kind of capabilities yet, like on a really extreme level. So the synthetic, I had to put this in there, DMT is not going to do anything but destroy your third eye. <laughs> like it's not good for you. I had to like go into that and research it. As you guys know, it's not going to be good for you. It's a different type. You can't replicate these gen these uh these chemicals because when you die, what DMT does is it helps your soul leave your body. And you find your way home that way. You find your way home to the other realms. So it's a bridge or a doorway. Well, I had it explained to me that at a very young age, that bridge was, that doorway was left open. And I'm clearly using it now to access things for our consciousness group on crazy levels. But, you know, you've all had DMT experiences. As not as, they might not have been as profound as that, but any type of like, addiction, alcoholism, people dying, trauma, you had small amounts of DMT released into your brain and we can reactivate those things. And I think that's one of the keys to this, to having more spiritual experience. I have experiences I doubt anyone could compare to. Astral experiences, out of body experiences. I can just astral body in like a second. I can leave my body in a second, unlike other people who might have to put more focus on that and practice. I just came back with different abilities. I have the ability to take on all of the information around us and read it, all of the energies around us. I don't know. I can remote view the past, the future. I can just do other things that I have to believe are completely related to that on crazy kind of levels. That's why I um, began to understand these things and encode energy in my own ways. And that was the game changer for me when I got to that point. So clearly I'm obsessed with this DMT. I got trained in it crazy, like on my own healing mission. So that I will be able to understand that. Understand that not only is your third eye regulating um, DMT, it's regulating your serotonin. So who's been depressed in this matrix? Wow, let's everyone raise their hand. If you're not depressed, you have fucked up empathy problems. You need to work on your empathy if you're not depressed, if you're looking at the state of this world. Because we know that as this storm picks up intensity, you guys are going to start to see tons of false flags this week. That grid is going to be attempted to be hijacked on crazy levels because this is a galactic energy. They can utilize it for the negative just as I'm trying to utilize it for the positive. So we know that starting like, I don't even know any day now until Thursday, our consciousness grid is just going to be seek to be weighed down on crazy levels. And I had to believe that a lot of this are the keys to us keys to this because if you're having your own spiritual experiences like I did they're going to come to me as visions like I had crazy dreams I could remember I had out-of-body experiences where I was accessing areas of the subconscious that pe most people can't I've seen the one consciousness we all share and there are areas we can't access things like that so the goal is for you to have your own spiritual experiences and to stop reading about it and we can kind of induce these through energy I found um, I'm going to let you guys go on that note. Make sure that you like this page. Um, you can come find me through my site. Just if you purchase anything, I'll come find you. Um, and I'm going to be going probably live again from the 420 group. You guys can find it. And uh, have an amazing day tomorrow. I'll be getting activated, so I'll probably be back Sunday or Monday, depending on how I feel. But I'll be here for energy work before I do, because I'll do my first activation at nighttime. So I'll be here tomorrow for energy work as well. Um, check our site out. It's a really good way to get car good karma. I was asking people for stupid shit like Brittany. Like, I don't know. She's going to mail me some black nail polish because she loves me. And I don't know if people forgot about karma. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's a huge deal to even ask someone for that nowadays, right? Did you guys forget about karma that anytime you guys are helping someone, it's coming back to you in abundance in other areas of your life? Maybe that's why everyone's so broke.
concept, right? I'm not. I'm going to live in abundance. But hey, maybe I understand karmic laws better. So through my assisting others, you know, it might seem like I'm not getting anything. Like someone asked me, are you getting anything from the work you're doing on these movements? I said, yes. I'm getting good karma and I leveled up really fast that way. And it comes back to me in abundance in other areas through my website. So yes, if you understand the laws of the universe through service, you're going to get it back in abundance. Well, it feels like we're living in a broke paradigm. <laughs> Sorry, it feels like there's a lot of sickness, lack, and for all the money being printed out, shouldn't we have infinite money in our own lives? I mean, they're just printing money every day. Shouldn't we have a ton of it? I'm just going to say it. So if you guys are feeling that way, not only do we have a really good um, manifesting, you know, healing regime on our site, you guys could be using what you know and working for good karma to get more money in your life. So if you guys are feeling lack or feeling broke, give something to someone. Go give something away. Go help someone. So we're not giving. We have to be in a flow of giving and receiving. People just want to receive all the time. I'm sorry, it's an even exchange. That's how the universe works. We don't do one-sided shit. So if you guys want more abundance, which we all do, start to give and you'll begin to receive in your life. So we need to get these cycles of energy going. The sa your energy is stagnant in your everyday lives. I'm sorry, whether you realize it or not, the longer you've lived in your house, great. The more stagnant the energy is. And sage isn't quite going to fix it. So if you want to get the energy flowing like I do every day, I'm in a good cycle of giving and receiving. Go give something. You'll receive more. Love and light.